Legend has it that this car shares its headlights with the Lamborghini Diablo, and even though the Nissan 300ZX is a few hundred horsepower and a couple vertical doors shy of being a Lamborghini, they are still great cars nonetheless. What is going on everybody? Jells from Fitment Industries and welcome to Fitment Industries Garage. And we are back with another episode of What Wheels Fit. Odds are if you clicked on this video, you are on the hunt for some new wheels for your Z32 300ZX, and if not, Welcome, thanks for just hanging out with us. You know, we appreciate that too. Before we go ahead and get right into today's video, please, if you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe. It helps us out a ton. And of course, once you are done watching this and know what wheels, tires, or suspension you need for your 300ZX, don't forget who helped you out and stop on over to fitmentindustries.com and check out all the options that we have available for those cars, plus many, many more. First things first, the recommended fitment range for the Z32 300ZX gives us a diameter ranging from 16 to 19 inches widths ranging from seven to ten and a half and an offset landing anywhere between plus 35 and plus 25 so as we can only imagine an absolutely huge range of different sizes and fitments that fall within that range of sizes so what we're going to do is take a look at some of the 300 zx's sitting in the fitment gallery right now over at fitmentindustries.com and dive into detail what other people are running on their 300 zx to get a good idea as to what certain wheel sizes and suspension setups look like on these cars and what is required to get those certain size wheels to fit. We'll start off with some more modest setups, which would be good for changing up the look of your car, get some nice wheels on there, but not have to worry about any other modifications to get the wheels to fit and still be a good option for daily driving. And then work our way up to some more aggressive and wider setups as we move down that list. All that being said, let's get into our first car of the day, which is going to be this 300 ZX, which is a 1996 Turbo, which is rocking some Kansai KNPs. Now these have a size of 18 by nine and a half with a plus 22 offset all around and are wrapped with a Continental Extreme Contact. DWS 06 tire with a size of 245.40. And then we also see a drop in ride height with the help of some Tang coilovers. And as far as fitment goes, we're looking at a pretty flush fitment with almost just a tiny bit of poke in the rear. I would imagine with a lower ride height or some adjustment of the camber, that can be fixed. Other notes on this car, the fenders are rolled. However, it really wasn't an issue when they weren't. The owner says that it would only rub over large bumps on the highway and stuff like that. I imagine with that ride height in the rear, that was the reason why. Overall, great setup for this car. I think the KMPs are a great wheel to run on them. Up next, we have a very similar setup on this 1994 with some good old Volk TE37s. Now these have the same size as the KMPs we just looked at. However, 18 by nine and a half, but we're bumping that offset up to a plus 25, meaning that the wheels are gonna be brought in towards the car just a little more. For tires, we have some Federal tires with a size of 255.35, and then again, sitting on some Kane coilovers. As you can see, a little lower ride height than the previous car as well. We do see the fenders are rolled again to help make some extra room, and we get a nice flush fitment once again. So going up in that offset about three millimeters, bringing that tire in and bringing that wheel in to get a flush fitment. Moving right along here, we see our first staggered setup today, which is gonna be this 1990. 95 turbo with some work emotions and these are an 18 by eight and a half with a plus 34 offset up front and an 18 by nine and a half plus 34 offset in the rear for tires we have some hand cooked ventus rs3s 235 40 and a 265 40 for the sides and then sitting on some power tricks coilovers i think the fitment is really really good on this car and we get a nice low ride height with a very slight tucked fitment almost fenders are rolled and that is about it to get everything to fit getting more aggressive here like i said with this red 1990 with some esr cs15s 18 by nine and a half plus 22 up front and an 18 by 10 and a half plus 22 in the rear wrap some 255 35 and 275 35 iron man tires and then sitting on some raceland coilovers for that drop in ride height getting us back to that flush fitment with the drop in the offset and a 10 and a half in the rear fenders are rolled and it seems that the only other modification needed to get this setup to fit on this car is rolling those fenders getting even wider and more aggressive we are going to take a look at another 1990 this time with some work bsss wheels and these are an 18 by 10 with a plus 10 offset in the front and an 18 by 11 and a half plus 15 offset in the rear for tires, we have some Achilles AT Sport tires, 215.40 and a 225.40, so getting quite the stretch on these. And then all of this sitting absolutely dumped on some BC Racing coilovers. Fenders are both rolled and pulled, and the fender liners are just removed to make some extra room in those wheel wells. To help dial everything in, which is going to be needed with this wide of a setup, this car also has some ISR Pro Series control arms in both the front and the rear as well. And that is going to be the last car that we take a look at today. So hopefully this gave you some good 
ideas as to what people are running as far as wheel tire and suspension setups on their Z32s, so you can go out and do the same. Of course, if you wanna check out other options or just take a closer look at these cars, feel free to hop on over to the gallery over at fitmentindustries.com. There's hundreds of 300 ZXs in there for you to take a look at. Other than that, wheel tire and suspension, fitmentindustries.com. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have a Z32 300 ZX on some aftermarket wheels, don't forget to add it to the gallery so we can continue making videos just like this and helping people out. Again, I'm Giles from Fitment Industries. We'll see you later. Peace.